This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. What's up guys, Leon here. Welcome back to Tesla on Mare. Plasma is amazing guys. How cool would it be if we could control it? Well, we can't do that with our fingers. Plasma is way too hot. But we can do this with magnetic fields. Particle accelerators already do that. But seriously guys, that is boring. What would be if we could influence plasma with sound? Maybe with ultrasonic. It is generally known that we can do a lot of stuff with sound. We can listen to it, we can destroy things with it and we can even make objects fly. More about that later. So why not influencing plasma with sound waves? By the way, you can win something today guys. More information at the end of the video. One thing I can tell you already. You have to pay attention on these little zombie MOSFETs. So how do we start now? This is a small ultrasonic transmitter. Normally bats are using this technology. When we connect an AC voltage to the transmitter, it emits a sound. In principle, this is a small speaker. But this is only partly true. The transmitter can only emit one frequency. And that is in the case of the ultrasonic transmitter round about 40 kHz. But why? Unlike a normal speaker, this transmitter consists out of a ceramic membrane. The membrane has a resonance frequency of about 40 kHz. Because as Nikola Tesla had already recognized, all objects in the universe have a resonance frequency. If the membrane is now excited by a signal equal to the resonant frequency, it begins to vibrate. These oscillations in turn generate sound waves. Even if we do not see or hear them, they are still there. Like radioactivity. But can we influence plasma with such a transmitter? And if so, how is this possible? I now connect an alternating voltage of 40 kHz to the transmitter and align it to the surface. The signal looks like this. Now we need a styrofoam ball. As you can see, the ball is floating in the air. Guys, that is the future. We can improve the experiment by using two of these transmitters. These are now aligned opposite to each other. As you can see, the styrofoam ball can now float very stable. This is really fascinating. But how does it work? Simply put, the two transmitters create so-called standing waves. These are nothing else than layers of compressed air. We can now place objects like the styrofoam ball on these layers. But I think we need more power. What would be if we use instead of only two transmitters, 55? For this, I designed this mount. Looks like a parabolic mirror. But for sound, not for light. It's printing time. Oh yes, looks a bit like a science fiction weapon. Now we will mount the transmitters in the bowl. I fixed each transmitter with hot glue. We have a lot of work to do now. All 55 transmitters must be connected in parallel. That definitely looks like a death ray gun. Because we want to keep the setup as simple as possible, we are only using these two PCBs to power our ultrasonic gun. This is an L298N stepper motor driver, which worked perfectly for our application. We can generate the 40 kHz with an Arduino Uno. Of course guys, you can also design your own PCB and order it at JLCPCB. JLCPCB is a PCB manufacturer which allows you to make your own PCBs. For only $2 you already get 5 PCBs. If that is not a good price, you can even go one step further. If you use the PCB assembly service, you don't even have to assemble the boards. Believe me, especially with SMD components you save a lot of trouble. 
The only thing you have to do is save your Gerber file as a zip file. Once this is done, select the desired parameters. Lead free? <laughs> yeah, definitely. What color are you in favor of? <laughs> Purple is sexy, isn't it? Just upload the file, order and you're done. Within 24 hours your PCB will be produced. And a few days later they will arrive. If you register at JLC PCB via the link in the video description, you will get 4 coupons with a total value of $27. Here you can see the complete setup. The Arduino outputs two signals which are 180 degrees out of phase. This is how the signal looks on the oscilloscope. The frequency is almost 40 kHz. I now connect a voltage of 15V to our setup. The circuit now draws about 800 to 900 milliamps. Now let's do some tests with a styrofoam ball. We can already influence the ball quite good. You can see very well how the gold foil is moved by the sound waves. By the way, we have also built a perfect microphone jammer. You can control the bundle beam perfectly. Really cool. Our ultrasonic gun works already. Now we need plasma. For this, we use this finished HF SSTC. By the way guys, you can win this device today. The assembly is pretty fast. Look at this beautiful plasma. Very calming. So guys, now we're just going to hold the transmitter over the plasma flame. Three things can happen. The first thing, nothing happened. The worst case scenario. <laughs> the second thing is the flame is blown out. And the third thing is that something happened that we didn't expect. I hope really that the third case happens. So guys, be curious. In some places you can see very nicely how the plasma spreads out under the layers of compressed air. Look at this, if we move the transmitter slowly from above, the plasma will be compressed. We have created a kind of ball lightning. This is absolutely fascinating. Have you ever seen something like this? I was really afraid that nothing would happen. But guys, let's come to the contest. You can win three things today, but only one person can win. The first thing, a laser cut primary coal for HF SSTC, spark gap Tesla coal and other cool stuff. Six turns with copper wire, laser cut out of plywood, looks vintage, pretty cool. The second thing, a GU50 vacuum tube for a vacuum tube Tesla call, a tube amplifier and other great stuff. New old stock from Russia. And the third thing, a working HF SSTC from China, AliExpress. So the only thing you have to do is write me a comment how many dead MOSFETs were to be seen in this video. Then you have the chance for the win. So guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave me a comment down below and then guys, we'll see us in the next video.